What is going on YouTube? I'm currently on my way to Federation Space. If you did check out my last video, I was checking out systems in Romulan Space. Right now, I'm on my way to Federation Space. Stay tuned and see what happens. Here we go. Alright, I've just made it to the Federation system of Pajam. Let's take a look. Wow, this is pretty interesting. We have a lot here. We have some missions in on the Pajam planet. We do have some level 3 raw gas. Wow, I didn't expect to see that. Level 3 raw gas we have right here. Um... We have lots of time, time members living here. And that's pretty much it. That This is probably the place where you get level three raw gas. Of course, it is being camped out by time. And of course, time two. This is where they have the advantage right now. But yeah, I mean, this is, this is a time system they do dominate the system, but you can get level 3 raw gas here. So just keep that in mind. If you do ever come to Federation Space, you can get raw gas right here. Level 3. Alright. Let's take a look at Doshka. Setting course. So I just want to uh, clarify what happened just now. I was just warping to the Doshka system. I got there and of course I was attacked by this guy. Time Jokerfish in the Time Alliance. So I guess what Time are trying to do, he's attacking free right now. What Time are trying to do, they're trying to stop anyone coming to the system and mining this dilithium. So this is kind of crazy. This is what the top, one of the top alliances in the game are doing. They're trying to limit players entering this system. It is completely within their right to do, of course. Anyone can do this, but yeah. The system is full of time and time two players. One Terran Empire player right there. So just keep that in mind. Um, and we do have some raw gas in the system. So we do have lots of raw gas. Dilithium, of course. And of course, there's some missions at this star base right here. So do you keep that bit keep that in mind but also keep that keep in mind that this is a chokehold system so lots of players will be trying to keep you out there is a fight for resources right now so you do need strong ships everyone you need strong ships and a good alliance to get through some of these blockades which are obviously happening and yeah do not let the top alliances rule systems like this I was just exploring and then boom, I just got hit, just like that. So keep that in mind. All right, we are back. We've just finished repairing the ship and we have just entered the MAPEX system, the MAPEX system in Federation space. As you can see here, there are lots of power steel mines, lots of tritanium mines. We do have some missions on this planet right here. There are lots of things to do in the system. It's a pretty empty system, but of course right here we have time who live here. Time have been using this system and others in Federation Space and we have the Terran Empire right here. We have been in talks with the Terran Empire but I'll get into that in another video and yeah that's pretty much it for this system. Apart from that it's a pretty empty system. Let's take a look at some of the others. Let's go to the Ecadem system. Alright here we go. Well, that was a relatively short journey and we've just reached the Academ system. Let's take a look here. So there's lots of power steel mines, some empty planets right here. We have one person right here, UCC Raven Hunter. I've spoken to this guy before, he's pretty cool. And yeah, there's not a lot else. There's some missions to do. And he's mining right now. And again, this is a pretty empty system if you want to move to this system. We have time here, semi-automatic, and yeah, this is a pretty decent system to be honest. 
So definitely try and move to this system. It's a good mid-range system. Yeah. So that's it. Right, next we're going to go to the Bazamex system. Not too long. Here we go. Alright, we've just reached the Bazamex system. Let's take a look here. It's a level 24 system. We're going in. There's lots of Pastel and Tritanium mines. We do have Time 2 who are mining here. Lots of empty planets right here. Yes, again, time. And we do have a couple of missions here. Chosuf. So there are... This is a pretty empty system again. I mean, this wouldn't be a bad one to move to. If you're looking to move to Federation Space, I would definitely recommend it. Again, be careful of those top alliances who are looking to form a chokehold on Federation Space, of course. Okay. Next, we are going to go to the Moev system. Let's set a course. Here we go. A lot of these systems are very French sounding. Foeb? Foeb? Alright. So we've just entered the Foeb system. Let's take a look. Lots of parasteel mines again. Lots of empty planets. Good, possibly a good one to move to. We do not have any missions here, I believe. And that's a good thing because that means that less players will be coming to this system. Less chance of being killed, basically. And it seems like I am the only one here, which is great. I have the whole place to myself. That's right. Um, yeah. So let's check out some more systems. There's not a lot here, but again, this is a good one to move to. It's pretty close to all those key resources in Doska and Pajem. So next we are going to go to Zaidu, the Zaidu system. Is that French? Who knows? All right, we have just reached the Zaidu system. Let's take a look in here. There are lots of empty planets, lots of parasteel, lots of tritanium. This is a great place to mine. We have no time here. Someone called Team. Haven't met them yet. CDNA, Winter Frost. I think I've met this person. It's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, this again, this is another great system to move to in Federation Space. Lots of empty planets. And there seems to be no missions either. So yeah, this is a great place to come hang out. Less chance of being killed, of course. And yeah, there's not a lot more to say about this. Can kill level 22s here, they're relatively low level. Very hard for me, of course. Need a jellyfish to attack this one, probably. Okay, let's go to the next system. So we're gonna go to a Caillou. Can't even pronounce that right. Uh, someone please tell me how to pronounce these. That would be great. So we're gonna go here and then, then we'll go to Jamat and up. So yeah, let's check out this system. We've just reached this system. A cow. Level 22 system. Let's take a look. There are lots of parasteel, lots of tritanium mines. Again, this is a pretty empty system. There are lots of empty systems in Federation space. So if you do want to move here, I would actually recommend it if you're going down the Federation path. There is one time person here. Oh wow, look at this ship. This is a Vulcan ship. I will be covering this in other videos, but actually this is the first time I have seen this ship from time. The Vulcan. This is an awesome ship. I think it was in the movies. I could be wrong though. Yeah. We, we will be covering that ship in more detail, but this is actually the first time in the game that I've seen this ship, so that is a real treat to see. And yeah. Okay. That was, that was great. Now next, we are going to switch systems. Again, it's a pretty empty system. We're going to go to the Jamet system. That's set a course, and we shall be there momentarily. We have made it to Jamet. Let's take a look at the system, level 26 system. There are lots of tri few Tritanium mines, some empty planets that you can move to. And of course, there is a Starbase, Starbase 74 right here. 
can do lots of missions there, which is great. And yeah, I mean, this is a pretty decent system to move to. I mean, not a lot here. You'd probably only want to move here because you're close to other resources in the game. But again, it's a pretty decent system. Lots of enemies to kill. So, right, so we're going to go to the Guwak, Guwak system right now. And that should take no time at all. Alright, let's take a look at this system. Guwak. Level 23 system. Some empty planets right here. Lots of power steel mines. Of course, they turn into tritanium mines, I believe. And don't think there is anyone here, which is great. Um, another great system to move to. You're relatively close to other key resources. And yeah, there's not a lot more to say, to be honest. There are those pirates to kill for your various missions. And that's pretty much it. So we're going to go to the last system in Federation Space, which we can explore with our warp drive. That's the Matea system. Take a little bit longer to get there, but once we do, it'll be great, I'm sure. Pretty close to Doska. All right, here we go. All right, we have just arrived in the Meta system. Let's take a look. Level 24 system, lots of par steel, lots of titanium, actually. And there's not a lot of people here. We have some time people here mining. We do have some missions right here, which we can do. And yeah, again, it's a pretty empty system. Like the whole of Federation space is pretty empty apart from those key systems. Well, there are some people living here. CDNA and the Terran Empire. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it, to be honest, you know? Like, that is all you can explore. Like, my warp drive is 21. So with warp drive 21 on my tower, I can reach Pajam and all these systems. So let's go to one more. I really wish we could go to Andoria, but we can't go there right yet. So we're going to go to uh, Vulcan. So that's going to take a little bit. But yeah, for those who have watched the movies, you'll know about Vulcan. You'll know about Vulcan. All right, we've just reached the Vulcan system. Now, for those who haven't watched the J.J. Abrams movies, remember this is the Kelvin Universe timeline. So if you haven't watched those movies, there is a spoiler alert coming up about the planet Vulcan. System Vulcan, let's take a look. Level 23 system and whoa, look at this. This is a complete war zone. There is debris everywhere, ship parts, rocks, and yeah. If you look here, this kind of looks like a Romulan ship. Pretty much does, right? There are some missions to do here. And look right here. I believe this is where the planet Vulcan used to be in this debris field. Yeah, this is kind of crazy. Vulcan was destroyed in the movies by the Romulans. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You cannot move to the system, but there are some bad guys to kill. And yeah, that is pretty much it. That is pretty much it. All right. So that is it for the level warp 21 if you're level 15, 16 kind of deal. Please check out my other videos about Romulan and of course Klingon space. And until next time, see ya.